Mr. O'Brien, what's this about the, uh, well, the Concord Monitor says you banned them from one of their news conferences a few years ago. Did you really do that? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. about the, uh, well, the Concord Monitor says you banned them from one of their news conferences a few years ago. Did you really do that? No, the staff made a mistake in not including someone in a, uh, a conversation I was having with reporters from my office, so I wouldn't do that. You, you wouldn't call it, you would have kept, you would have let them in? If I know them. You just didn't know they were out there. Yeah. But they were there, and they tried to get in and were denied, correct? I, I, I think so, from what I heard afterwards, yeah. Oh, well, I appreciate you at least answering the question. You can come to my news conferences anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not too bad. <laughs> That's great. We'll see you later. All right, thanks much. Ms. Barry, is that you? Hi. Question, uh, to what extent are you concerned about the first ruling in the Croydon case? It looked like it went against you. Uh, I haven't seen the ruling, so I really can't respond. We'll wait for a meeting. Yeah, we're late for All right, Sorry. thanks much. Take care. out about me filming you again, are you? I think that is a no. Oh, you probably can't hear it, but they're singing the uh, national anthem up there. I need to come up with some uh, new lyrics for that thing, too. Arnie Arneson, a commentator, political commentator in New Hampshire, has this uh, philosophy that this room, uh, the, the, the press room in uh, Concord at the State House, used to be filled with people whenever the House was in session, and now it's very rare to see more than uh, three reporters in there. I, I don't remember ever seeing more than one. If you don't have enough mainstream reporters doing their job, you get stuck with me. I also like Mark Edge's idea that um, state and local politics are almost completely underserved by the uh, uh, mainstream press. That's another reason they're stuck with us. I was about to get some photographs of state reps leaving their natural environment, but I think instead I'm, I'm almost filming the Free Stater delegation. Oh, no. Don't say that! Uh, almost. <laughs> Uh, not really. I'm supposed to know. <laughs> hey guys. Now some of those folks may not have been free staters. I don't know. I mean, LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite too, at sat.lrn.fm. <laughs> That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to... LRN.FM Edge don't want you to hear them.